All right, thank you for joining us on the program, and it's great to have you uh, again on the show. This time we are moving away from politics. We are looking into business, money making, and finance. This section segment we're looking at uh, being your own boss, being your own CEO, and we'll be talking about new apprenticeship. I don't know what that means, but I'm being joined by Dr. Oludoto Logwe, the PhD, who is joining us, to, who is joining us to talk about uh, how we can be our own uh, boss in our own, manage our own businesses through what she calls new mapreneurship. Mm -hmm. Doctor, thank you for joining us on the program thank today. You. Uh, Dr. Logwe has been in the business of uh, uh, entrepreneurship coaching, motivational speaker, and for a very long time, she has she was a uh, um, a lecturer on um, marketing, business, and a whole lot of uh, other issues around entrepreneurship and investment, and that's why she's Dr. Olugwebe. New apprenticeship, what is that? Oh, well, um, that seems I've never heard that. New apprenticeship. <laughs> how many words? How many words did you put together? Um, I can say two words. Two words. Yeah. Okay. Um, is a combination of two words. Okay. Um, the first one is um, new map. New map. Yes. And the other aspect, preneurship is taken from entrepreneurship. Okay. So, um, NUMA is like um, a breath. It stands for inspiration. Okay. It stands for spirit. It's a Greek word. Okay. For spirit, breath, okay. for inspiration. Okay. Then, preneurship is taken from entrepreneurship, which okay. is um, the um, creation of something good, turning okay. an idea into um, a good. A product or okay. a service okay. or the common good, okay. something that can benefit. Um, so we, you, so from your wide experience of teaching, coaching, talking about business and investment, mm -hmm. you were able to marry spirit and entrepreneurship together. Exactly, because what um, every everyone has um, the the what would I say the breath inside of them. It's not the normal breath that we breathe in. I mean, something that brings inspiration to you. So everyone has it. Every we, we have, apart from our reasoning faculty, so many times an idea will just drop into your mind to do something. So each and every one of us, at every point in time, we get something like an idea, like an inspiration, something that can, we can work on, something that we can turn to something big. So that is the pneuma. So the pneuma is um, the Greek word for spirit, which the Christians called the Holy Spirit. Mm. So like every human being has the spirit inside of them. We... I mean, whether you are a Christian or a Muslim, whatever you are, we all believe we come from God. And so biblically, we talk about every human being being created by God. And God, as we see, it, is a very creative God. I mean, looking at the universe, looking at us, even human beings, looking at everything we've seen, we've seen the creativity of God, you know, at play. Mm. And so human beings, we are also creative beings. Mm. We are not like animals. Mm. We, are, we have the reasoning faculty. We can, we can rationalize. We can create. We can make. I mean, look at what human beings have done to this world that God has even created. Mm. So we see that each and every, at every stage of human history, there is someone that has come with one inspiration or the other to mm. turn something, to bring something out of nothing. Like electricity, by I mean, Thomas Edison, you talk about somebody creating electricity. Mm. Um, we talk about technology from so many people. So people are inspired. So it is that inspiration mm. that we refer to as Numa. Numa. We know, okay. and we know that we 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 just find ourselves on this planet Earth, but there is something peculiar about us as human beings that brings inspiration to us. So when you take that inspiration and you turn it into something great. You turn it into an idea, uh, into a product mm. or a service, then you are in a Okay, so w when you turn that idea that you've got into a product, into mm. a service, mm. so that is uh, making the st your spirit, turning around your spirit uh, into something creative, enabling you to activate the gift that you've got inside of you uh, but but there, there are challenges we face as 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 individuals in turning around the creative gift that can bring in money. Do you want to share with us why people have difficulties turning their gift, that creative imagination, that thing that will drop, boom, instantly. Why do people have difficulty turning it, in a, turning it around and making it beneficial? I, th I think the problem with um, a lot of people is fear. You know, fear is the number one thing. And because no one has done it before, or even if you've seen people that have gone into that area before, 
but an idea is you get an inspiration to redesign that thing. I mean, because I always say every innovative idea we see today is an improvement upon an existing idea. So somebody must have done something in that line before. So you might say when you get an idea and then you, it, it, it's usually fear, fear of unknown. I mean, fear yeah. of what might happen in the future. And then because a lot of people have so many side attractions like um, family, like um, bills, like so many things they want to use money for. So for that reason, because that idea is not generating what, I mean, it's not generating an, a return at that particular time, then they tend to brush it aside and then they want to go for something they are more comfortable with, something they believe will easily give them money now. So anybody that is thinking about now, we never turn an idea into a reality. Mm. So um, the, the number one thing everybody's got to conquer is fear. Fear and fear. And then the fear of the unknown or fear of how do I manage this or fear of resources. Uh, so, I mean, fear is fear. Whatever it is that you ex extol higher than you, that is fear. And you know, somebody says the acronym fear is um, false evidence appearing real. Mm. So you, you have already conjured something up in your mind that, oh, this thing is not going to be possible. You never thought about the fact that you, you, you were inspired to do this. But you look at your circumstances, I mean, things around you, no resources, maybe no support. I've, I've coached a lot of people, I've counseled a lot of people. And what they normally come up with, oh, uh, I can't find enough support. No one is supporting me, my family, my friends, nobody is believing in what I want to do. So that is number one thing. You fear that, even fear of acceptance. If I do this, will people accept it? You know, so fear is a broad word, but whatever it is that is restraining you from actually pursuing or turning that idea to reality, that is what we call fear. So no, the fear can also lead to you not believing in yourself, hmm. not believing that you can actually do it, not believing in the power that gave you the inspiration, you know, that you are more than who you think you are. There is something in you. There is a power in you that has brought that idea. And unless you run with that idea, unless you follow it, you might, you might just be the same forever. So if you look at those who actually took the, the, the giant leap to actually do something in life, there were people who managed, not because they did not fear, but they managed the fear and they decided to experiment with it. So if you do not decide to experiment with the idea that you have been given, then it will not turn to a discovery mm. at the end of the day. So that is why a lot of people, they grow old, and then by the time they get to a stage, they think, oh, I should have done this. Oh, I should have done that. I should have followed my heart. I should have followed my passion. I should have followed this idea mm. or not. But there will not be time again. So fear is the, 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 is the major factor. And on, when you conquer your fear, you can conquer anything. So what is pre new mapreneurship how to achieve new mapreneurship what, what are you how to achieve um i'm how to uh, with new mapreneurship my major aim is to let everyone realize that you are more than who you think you are i mean for every one of us there is what we call the moses road in our hand everybody's got something that can turn you into phenomenal into somebody great but unless you um, identify that that thing that is peculiar with you. You know, when I, I always talk about general and specific purposes of human beings, we all have the general purpose. We are all part of um, the wider universe. Every one of us is feeling a vacuum or the other. But you also have specific purposes. And for each specific purpose, there is something peculiar to you. I mean, just you alone. There is no other you. So God did not create two days, nor did he create two me. So there is something peculiar in everybody's hand. And unless you realize that, you will not be able to be who you are supposed to be. So what I, my aim with human, human preneurship is to first of all help people identify, I mean encourage them to identify that great and mighty thing that is in their hand, which they can now turn into an entrepreneurship venture. And of the, the entrepreneurship I'm talking about is not just um, business or maybe buying and selling. Entrepreneurship is very, very wide. You might not be into business, but you might even be into a cause. Maybe you believe in something like charity, and then you pursue it with your every strength within you. And unless you realize that, that is, whatever you have, it's not basically the main reason it's not just for you to make money. Because the problem is, once people get an idea, they assess it and they look at it, oh, it's not going to bring in money. So because of that, they withdraw. But people actually made something big in life, started with 
number one, wanting to better the lot of people, wanting to make the world a better place. And they have an idea that can make them, uh, that can push them towards making the world a better place. When people now realize what you've got, then you will see people buying you, buying what you, what you have. Because your first idea is not, um, your first motive was not to um, get money, but to, number impact. one, make yourself happy, then make an impact. Mm -hmm. And so you see that everyone we read about today, they first started without making an impact. So my aim with Dreamer Pinochet is to sensitize people. That is, you cannot, I know not everybody will be entrepreneurs, but there are, some, there are things you can still do that will make you have an impact, that will make you fulfill that specific purpose which you have been created um, to fulfill. So many people's destinies are tied to you. And unless you take hold of that thing that has been committed into your hand and pursue it, um, you are going to be like, um, you are going to jeopardize the fulfillment of so many people's destinies that are tied to yours. So that is my aim with Numa Pinochet. It's a paid job, a convert zone for people. Exactly. That, 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 is, that is what um, I found out from my experience with people. Everybody loves to stay in their comfort zone. Everybody wants to, the 9 to 5, at least the, the, the consolation that when, once I go to uh, work, then at the end of the month I'm being paid. Then they can work on that payment. I mean, I have 1,000 pounds in salary, I can pay this, I can pay that, so they are comfortable with that. But you are more than that. You are more than paid job. So that is why a lot of people hide behind that. And that is why you see a lot of people live a life of, um, a life of regret. They are not fulfilled in life. They, they wake up every day. They, they, they are not ready to face the day. They are just doing it just because it's going to put... They need put, to get, uh, they money, need to, and they need to get money and pay their bills. <laughs> but unless you take that giant leap, that quantum leap, to pursue exactly what you have been inspired to do. You will see, I mean, th what you have can, can pay your bills. The, the gift you have can even benefit a lot of people. But if you are still concerned about job, 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 then you're going to, you're going to end up being um, a job man. I, I see that you're having a program coming up, um, hosting um, um, a coaching seminar, business mm, seminar, mm. to impart some of this knowledge. You want to tell us more about it? Uh, well, we call it a um, Numa Prenership Business Dinner. And that dinner is organized to promote um, individual talents, to promote businesses, even if you are into ministries or you are into charity, um, whatever it is that you are passionate about, that dinner is organized to promote you. And that is why we have a lot of um, uh, professional uh, people around. We have um, uh, Del McClay, an international coach and um, speaker that has coached a lot of small businesses into becoming a huge success that they have today, coming to train us on, um, to speak about um, capacity building for expanding your rising. And we also have people, professionals in various fields, seasoned administrators like Tude Bidisu, we have Francis Adaji, a business lawyer, that will tell you the legal implications, you know, of how to start your business or if it's a ministry or non-for-profit organization, whatever it is that you're passionate about that you are so much afraid to take um, a step towards. The Numa Pinochet Business Dinner is organized to help you and to promote you and to expose to you uh, the benefits of actually starting something of your own, being your, your own man, being who you have been designed, who God has designed you to be. When is it? And where uh, it's going to come up on the 26th of um, May. That is the last Friday of this month. And it's going to come up at um, um, Christ Church Conference Center, um, Eltham High Street, Eltham, London. Mm. SC912 um, and is um, SC91TJ, yes. Mm. It says SC91TJ. So it's going to come up um, in that um, conference center. And it's going to start from 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. So it's, it's a night that has been designed for everyone to come together. In fact, that night we're going to have banners promoting people's businesses, red carpet, I mean, uh, um, advertisement, anything that will make you to encourage everyone to actually pursue your dream. That is our aim uh, in Numa Pinochet. Okay, fantastic. Uh, quickly, before I let you go, is there a contact? Information like a website we can visit? Um, the, the, the website is www.domains.org. Um, and um, if you want to reach me, you can write to me at uh, domainscenter at gmail.com. Domainscenter at gmail.com. Gmail 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 or you can call my number 078 4681 6590. 078 4681 6590. Yes. Uh, before I let you go, um, let, me, let me just quickly say that. Um, 
Dr. Dr. Logunbe was my um, she was my lecturer in one of the key institutions in London here uh, for about one year as a student under her uh, uh, while I was undertaking a course in marketing communication. So I was a student, but I'm a big boy now. So <laughs> now she, she's she's my she's my guest. <laughs> but where you sit under people, uh, Nigerians leading. Nigerians, we have a lot of them doing very well in different key institutions in UK, making impact, impacting knowledge, building people up. It's, it's key we celebrate them. And sometimes we take certain things for granted. And these are some of the things people take for granted information that can turn people's lives around. And so, very happy, uh, Dr. Dr. Logan B is still doing what she's always done. I've known how to have been doing uh, for some time now. Again, new Premiership Business Dinner, uh, holding at um, Dominion International Christian Centre. Yeah, Domins. Domins International, International Christian Centre, and um, is on the 26th of Friday, 6:30 p.m. to 9:30 p.m. This month. Uh, this month, and the venue again is Christ Church Conference Centre. Christ Church Conference Centre. 229 Eltham High Street, London, SE91TS. 229 Eltham High Street, SE91TS. And the email is domicenter at gmail.com. You need to write her domicenter at gmail.com. Doctor, thanks for coming on the Thank show. You, Tunde. Thanks uh, for having me. It's been a great time seeing you around. Uh, <laughs> how is it like impacting this kind of people? What is what is it like? Um, you see, that is that is um, that's my passion. Um, what I've been doing for several years now. And that is why I say you need to wake up and actually push your passion in life. Mm. You know, you are very happy when you wake up in the morning and you are very happy to face the day. Mm. So I'm very, very passionate and happy with what I'm doing because it is my joy when I see people turn out to be who God has designed them to be, turning mm. their ideas to reality and living um, a happy and fulfilled life. All right, this is how far we can go. I look forward to seeing you. I'll be there. I've been mean, as my lecturer. I need to be there to support her. Uh, so I'll be there on the 26th of May, Friday, 6 30 p.m. at Christ Church Conference Center, 229 Eltham High Street. I'll be there. If you need more information, you can ask me. I'll let you know. Until I come your way again on Wednesday, enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.